Hey everyone, it's Stefan. Welcome to today's show. Today I've got the LG Thrill 4G for you guys, and let me just tell you a few things about it. Now, someone with a standard smartphone might look at envy at the emerging breed of 3D handsets, which is with displays that don't even require 3D glasses. However, it may not seem as good as it first appears. Now, the LG Thrill 4G appears this Sunday at stores and will be exclusive at AT&T for $99 with a two-year service contract or $450 without. The Thrill runs a year-old version of Google's Android operating system with add-on applications from AT&T and LG. And I've got to say, so far from what I can tell, the best application you'll get out there is the 3D Space, which is the playpen for the device's unique aspects. So, while you uh, look through the whole various specialized 3D apps which come with this phone, there is uh, a few good ones, a few bad ones, includes a few games, it has a separate YouTube section, um, however the YouTube section doesn't actually have that many videos viewable in 3D, therefore it is quite useless. It uh, comes with a few games as I said, um, it comes with a racing game, a shooter game and a golf game. All these are made by Gameloft who is of course a very very good game provider. And uh, they're very, very interactive, very nice, and they do look quite appealing. However, if you're a gamer and you want to buy this just for gaming, I do advise you just to buy one of the new Nintendo products, like the Nintendo 3DS, because you'll get more out of your money for that, for sure, and you'll get a variety of games. While here at the moment, there doesn't seem to be a big option to download or buy more games. Now, this isn't the only 3D phone out there. To be exact, Sprint released a similar product by HTC called the Evo 3D, and that came out in June. And admittedly, it costs twice as much as the Thrill, but it runs in a slightly newer version of Android and the faster 4G network. Now this is a big thing. The Thrill, despite having 4G in its name, does not actually run on 4G. As AT&T is launching it, they're launching it on their 3D, 3D, sorry, 3G network. So, as I said, the YouTube application it works, but currently, due to the fact that there aren't that many videos out there which are made in 3D because most people either aren't bothered to make them in 3D or just haven't had the, you know, the way to do it. So there isn't much in that sense. So this phone comes with a 16 gigabyte memory and also, of course, works as a mobile hotspot. So you can use for internet and you know all the type of typical things a smartphone would have nowadays. It um, does come with a uh, nice 4.3 inch screen, which is relatively big and uh, is very very nice to look at. It comes with two cameras, a rear facing and a front facing camera. I'm not quite sure on the aspect yet of the rear rear facing camera. However, it does come with a nice function that it can convert your videos and pictures you take from 2D to 3D. We have experienced some problems when converting pictures from 2D to 3D because appar apparently it isn't that easy to convert those two, but apparently it does claim that it can do it and I'm sure they'll have new software bringing it out which will be able to do it. Now bringing back the old argument of comparing this to the Evo 3D, the Evo 3D does come with the Green Lantern movie in full length in 3D with the phone and comes with a very, very fun Spider-Man game, also in three dimensions, which the uh, Thrill does not. Now, some people might argue, you know, who cares about a movie in a, in a better game, but really, it <laughs> when it comes to selling points such as these, those do sell, and um, it is worth checking out. However, as I said, if you're in it for gaming, I really do advise you just buy yourself a nice Nintendo product, and it serves that because essentially that's all you'll need. This isn't built for gaming whatsoever. It is really basic phone to be exact, to be honest. It's uh, just like your smartphone, pretty basic. It doesn't have a lot of functions due to the fact that it's trying to convert everything to 3D and it just can't really process that too much. Now the battery life also only lasts about a day if you use your phone on an average kind of amount, you know, if you uh, use your phone a lot, your battery might last less than a day. On average, it lasts about a day. If you're one of those people who only use your phone to call people, and that's all, I don't advise buying this phone either because it is quite expensive and you won't get your money's worth out of it. But then it will last you two to three days if you're lucky. 
It also seems to have a slight delay, which you notice every time uh, you use the phone after it's gone, after the screen's dimmed, which it does after every, well, you can set it, but usually it's set to one, two minutes, or if you click the button. Uh, when you turn the screen back on, it has a slight delay, which is horrible because if someone calls you and you're trying to press the uh, answer button, it uh, takes a few clicks until it actually registers. Also, uh, if you try to scroll through menus, then it might crash or it just takes too long. So it's a little irritating when it comes to that. However, it does come with extendable memory and it comes with an HDMI port, which is absolutely amazing. So you can connect it to your 3D TVs if you have one or your other HDMI enabled devices. So, as I said, it is uh, actually not too bad considering you can get it, which has to be said, for $99 starting this Sunday with a two-year contract from AT&T. Having said that, I would like to know what your thoughts are on 3D phones because essentially they are quite cool to look at, I must say. However, there is still quite a lack of... Uh, applications being built for it due to the fact that no one wants to you know write scripts for 3d programs and there's a lot of other kind of issues with it which has to be said so my question does any of these 3d phones appeal to you i advise you go and check out the evo 3d and the thrill 4g tell me what your thoughts are on those and i'd be willing to know if any of you would buy it because um i've talked among a few people and I haven't found anybody who would buy this phone yet. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed uh, this review. Uh, look out for more reviews. I hope I didn't bore you for the last seven minutes. And that is all. Goodbye.